Flan was established in 2008 and I took it over in 2017 um, after the first two owners went through different versions of their business and ultimately uh, came to me. Um, I had started working here in 2009 just as a, a normal stylist and one of the first hires uh, of the new salon. Part of the mission when I took it over was to be a stylist first salon in versions of salons I'd worked at in the past, like the owners always had a certain me first kind of attitude that didn't always translate super well to stylists. And, and I did recognize that a lot of commission-based salons, which is what we are here, uh, lose stylists for things which really just boil down to rigidity in the owner. Um, a lot of the times and so when I started like my mission was just kind of like well remember when I was a stylist and to remove the the culture around like just because I had to do it you have to do it too I mean it's that, that's a toxic culture I think and instead of spreading it you can choose to stop it and for every guest that walks in like we've had people find this space to be a very safe space to to do things like come out to us, to be the first place to have a, a service uh, done during a transition. Uh, and those can be really life-changing experiences. And to create a space that just says, hey, you're welcome here. Doesn't matter texture of hair, doesn't matter color of skin, doesn't matter, none of that matters. We're an all-inclusive salon. Um, that's how we brand ourselves. That's how we operate everything inside of here. And for me to truly be an all-inclusive salon, you have to include everyone, including the staff. And this is a creative business, and so every person here um, has something they can bring to the table, and we like to focus on that. And I don't really care if everyone here can do every service, as long as I have certain people that are really passionate about all the things that we can offer here. So yeah, if, if you wanna roll in here in your rollerblades and your tutu, go for it. Like, we want you here. Um, I love it when my staff express themselves in any way they want to, whether it's like weird makeup for that day or a surprising hat or whatever. Like, if it makes them feel like being more creative or more comfortable in, in their environment, then who would want to get in the way of that? <laughs>